morning and thanks for joining us. Students and parents are finally able to access I-STEP scores. This as test results have been delayed for several months, but one Wabash Valley School District is not pleased with the outcome. News 10's Lindsay Yates has more on the latest error causing frustration in tonight's Education Watch 10. Checking those long-awaited I-STEP scores only to see a failing grade. They're questioning. I mean, they're, they're concerned. Uh, they're upset. For 256 graders at North Clay Middle School, the results make it appear 0% passed, which Superintendent Jeff Fritz says is mathematically impossible. We really question the validity and reliability of the test. State officials say a sink issue is to blame. There are two parts to the test, but only one has been graded. The information is either not there, they're trying to formulate it all, it's lost, we're not exactly sure. Uh, uh, where the information is at. This is just the latest in a slew of problems surrounding the high stakes test. Just a fiasco to deal with and so it's, it's not surprising although it is very discouraging because our teachers work very very hard. And Superintendent Fritz is asking parents to be patient as the school is also in a state of limbo. This is a state issue and they understand that we're doing all we can but it's just a waiting game. I, I feel bad for them. In Clay County with photojournalist Marty Ledbetter, Lindsay Yates, News 10. Now school officials are told the rescoring process is underway. They are uncertain though when the results will be updated. We will continue to follow this story and bring you more information as it becomes available.